Hello, my name is Max McGregor, and for the past 11 months, I've been directing a filmmaking project where I've been working with a group of young people from a range of different backgrounds. The film we created is called Different Ways, and the project has involved people in writing all the way through to editing to create a really original piece. Here is how we made it. <laughs> my name is Oleksandr Chmut. I'm a Ukrainian who currently resides in Scotland. As many other Ukrainians, I was forced to flee my country back in 2022 because of the Russian invasion. I've been living in Scotland for the past uh, one and a half year or so. During this time, I got myself involved in a filmmaking project. Hello, I'm Lana. I'm a Ukrainian refugee. I've been living here for a year and a half and I play Ellie in different ways. When writing this short film, it's very important that this was a collaborative process and that everyone's ideas would be able to shine through in our work. To make that happen, all I did was provide an initial theme, and that theme I chose to be public transport. I chose that because I think it's very relevant to young people today, and I think it's something we've all got an opinion on. Good morning, sir. Can I see your card? Writing it was really interesting, and uh, we got involved in it well. It also helped us bond with each other. I'm just not sure about meeting different people. When discussing what was my expectations at the start of the project when I first joined it, I wasn't that much concerned with the final purpose or outcome. I've heard that other Ukrainians from my area would also participate in the filmmaking. I've considered for myself this as an opportunity to meet with other people of my own background to find some sort of community. I'm rolling. Despite the fact that a lot of themes which are counted in this project are quite real and relevant to our own time, Time period. It's a pure fiction. People can emphasize with the characters and can see themselves in the characters. I guess we make yourself more creative freedom because in a documentary thing you cannot exaggerate or present the facts wrongly. You see the development, you see the things that characters are being through. When people see the news all the time and they hear different narratives like explicitly punching them in their face every single morning, every single evening, every single day of their lives, the narratives which are explicitly stated, I think they don't have such a big impact as a fictional story. My character is named Stefan and he's quite shy and unconfident in, in himself as a person. But throughout the film, as he meets new people whose uh, behavior is different from the one of himself, he begins to change. He becomes more open, I think. Ellie is a really, really rebellious and stubborn character. She does a lot of things for her friend's attention. She also follows a group mentality. She's with her friends, she feels confident, she feels cocky. But in reality, we all know that she's like not not like that. My name is Maddie and I play the character of Freya in different ways. What I would take away from my character is that you should never be so quick to judge someone, especially someone you haven't met before, and you should always think about what you're saying before you say it. Hi, my name is Nail and I play Anna in different ways. My character is very annoying and is very much part of a clique and I think gives a true understanding of how unintentionally intimidating a group like that can be for people around the outside without them considering their surroundings. So where are you from? Oh my god, sorry. When I came into this project, I picked up a character that had already been developed by multiple people. So it was really interesting taking all those opinions and ideas and developing them through my acting. Isn't that weird? Archibald. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rana, and I was involved in various aspects of this production. I play the character Sam, and she is quite self centered, and she tends to just talk about herself. She doesn't really have much regard for Stepan's feelings and kind of just is in her own wee world. And I really enjoyed playing her because I really like playing different kind of characters that are different to me. The first thing that happened, I created a scene. I thought about the bus scene and then Ellie was created. Okay. Are you filming as well? I build the character of Stepan largely based on myself. I still like blush and like look away every time I see this scene. I've seen the perfect opportunity for myself to try something that I never would have tried and didn't have an opportunity to try. This was definitely a one in a lifetime experience. The first few times I couldn't uh, separate myself from Ellie and I was just like, 
Oh my god, Lana, why did you do this? It's so embarrassing, but it was basically not me. It was just like my character. That's basically what Max told me. See, when he told me that I should like separate myself from the character, it really helped me, to be fair. When it comes to Stepan as a character, things get quite personal for me. It was important to show the contrast between two characters like Stepan and Ellie. As I really made a reflection of myself with all my disadvantages, with my isolation and right. some might say difficulties with communicating and making bonds with people. I've been in Stepan's position actually a few times. I basically was Stepan at the beginning of this project. Camera rolling. Show at 60. Hi, my name is Daniel Kerr. I'm working on different ways as an acting coach. I've done quite a bit of acting before, for example, like a Doctor Who, Doctors. I was in a film called The Wee Man, and I was lucky enough to uh, win a BAFTA for that. As I've sort of progressed more in my career, I've taken to do workshops and things like that, and sort of teaching different types of acting. Next, we wanted to prepare the team for the production stage of the project. Having now written our script, we hosted several workshops to get the crew used to being on set and the cast used to being on camera. Initially, I was brought on as a sort of acting coach because from what I understood from the get-go, the guys involved in this had never really done anything like this before, but they had an interest in it. So like, my instinct was to kind of make sure that they were having as much fun as well as like, trying to get performances. We did a few like drama games. They were just really, really fun to get everyone a bit more comfortable with each other. The way to like, make characters like, seem realistic is no matter what kind of role they are, even if like you're walking in background or something like that, but treat it, treat this character as a real person and you're going to get so much more out of it. If you're not invested in it, then why would the audience sort of be? Hi, my name is Archie Nelson. I worked with Max, the director, to assist in all aspects of the project, particularly on set, is where I worked with the crew to help capture the making of their film and also to help the set run on time. First day on sort of set, I was going about and what's saying, would you say it like that? Would you maybe say it like this? When I came to start filming, I knew most of the people that I was working with, but I still didn't know people that I was supposed to be acting with. The first bit we decided to film was the first three scenes of the film, actually. And these were set in and around locations on the side of streets, uh, pavements, and at a bus stop. So we were filming kind of in public space. There was a bus that kept like, interrupting like, every five minutes, so we had to like, do it in like, five minute sort of increments. I remember our like first meeting with Maddie and Noel because they were not writing the script with me, so I didn't know them. They knew each other, obviously. I was just like trying to make conversation, and they were trying to, so we kind of clicked with them. And then we just started getting along together like really, really well. Hello, my name is Anton. At this moment, I'm living in Kilwinen in North Ayrshire. But actually, I'm from Ukraine. I'm living in Scotland for more than one year. I really like it. <laughs> Done a lot of work with microphone stuff, recording. Here I have big microphone with muffle. Here microphone. Uh, then I have earphones, basic ones. And this one is Tascam sound recorder, which are the main thing of everything. It's safe to say that our shooting experience was distinctly Scottish. Unfortunately, the weather is not quite appropriate for the filming today. Today the weather looking a bit bad, so we just cancelled the action today and maybe do our practice. Sometimes it would be the case that an area that we were going to shoot in was in showers and rain. However, a uh, location just a few miles down the road might have been under dry skies. So we decided to change the shooting location and adapt to our conditions so that we could still continue shooting. And that did happen in one circumstance. I'd say the most difficult part for me planning in this film was the scene on the bus because I film about public transport. To actually have public transport at your disposal to film one is quite difficult. I emailed around, I asked lots of the local bus companies and actually to my surprise we got quite a lot of quite positive responses but we went with Coast to Coast which is a coach company based in Ardrossan. One of the biggest days that I worked on I wasn't actually coaching, I was more just acting. We had got a bus that was just parked in a bus yard and we were filming the scenes while it was still. Where did it stop? 
Driver! I was, I was loving it. I was loving the full day. I was at the front of the bus. There was a button that I could press and the doors would open and I was, I was living the dream. We had to film while the bus wasn't actually moving. So it was really interesting to see how after post-production you could see the bus actually moving and it looked very realistic. They run every hour and what I might do is I'll run ahead. Uh, so <laughs> I'll run ahead. Oh my gosh. I'll... <laughs> Is that the stop button? There was a lot of humour on set, but there was a lot of laughs, which was really good, and that sort of added to the sort of getting to know each other and being more comfortable around each other. There had to be like a bus driver, and the most creative name that we could like come up with was Gus. If you can't tell, Gus rhymes with bus. For whatever reason, he loomed large like a great shadow over the over the project and, and everyone, everyone found it really funny. Noise? Did you what hear it? Maybe we hit a deer or something. <laughs> Sorry. We might. <laughs> Best of luck, guys. That's screwed. <laughs> we are currently in a tiny little village in the middle of nowhere because that's the extent we go to for our film. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we've been travelling like all day. Um, this is like just after lunch time. Um, we've been here for half an hour, and now we're going straight back again, just to get some good quality shots. The best way to get around is to come home by bus again, <laughs> yeah. the same road. We're experiencing the um, the journey of the characters for real, almost. <laughs> So we're coming to the end of shooting now and we're left with one more scene to film and this was like the second part of the scene set up on the moor so outdoors and quite a wild location and just as the time progressed we were getting towards winter and the weather was becoming a lot more unpredictable so that in the previous scene we had like we were working in t-shirts and stuff and in this scene it was like heavy rain and wind so far we've not made it beyond the car Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure to inform you that the filming of the different ways is finally completed. So our film was complete. Except it wasn't. Now we're moving on to one of the biggest chunks of the project, which was editing, and it's not something to be underestimated. Over the course of filming, we captured over eight hours worth of footage for a film. So the first job of the editors was to go through all of that and cut out about 97% of it in order to craft a short film about 15 minutes long. When I started editing here, it was really new for me. At first, teaching was quite a big part of the editing process because a lot of the people involved haven't really done much video editing before. I couldn't do anything. I was just like sitting there, not knowing what to put. So I spent a lot of time working out how to really just explain what we need, go over the basics of the programs we use. And there was a couple of weeks literally just doing that. I asked my friend to help me and she said yes. My name is Sophia and I just helped him for filming this film. I kind of learned how to edit from her because she used to edit before. In editing, it's many small adjustments that come together to have this ginormous effect on how the film was presented. A lot of attention was given to the creative use of sound in our film. We created a lot of original things. We were recording like car engines. We were recording singing bowls. It was, a, it was originally a jokey recording where I recorded pretending to be the bus breaking down on a microphone. It was a few days later and Max showed me what the guys had at the film. The bus broke down and there was a sound effect attached to it. I asked Max, where did you get the, the sound from? Did, I take it you recorded more sounds for it. He went, no, that was your voice. I am the broken bus. <laughs> One of the key parts to any film actually is the music and the soundtrack. So a huge thank you to Signal Drift Archive and Kale Brown for working with me to offer music that I can use and work with me to create original ideas and pieces. So when I first started this project, I didn't really cast too much thought as to the length of it and what it was gonna be. We started with the rough idea of public transport. I'll go, I'll go. Where 
As people got to know each other and as kind of friendships built whilst writing, it became more truthful than that. It's developed into a perfect whole concept. People were comfortable enough to put in feelings of their own, to put in experiences that they've been through. That kind of took over from the public transport thing. The narrative that we've built allows the viewers to have different perspectives on the characters and their own life. As soon as we started writing and everyone started to get to know each other a bit, it became very apparent to me that people were much more invested and they wanted to really tell the story we were creating. I definitely enjoyed a lot of things while working on this project. First of all, the social bond, which I did manage to build whilst on the project. I think if you go though, you'll find you won't regret it. You will enjoy yourself, and I'm sure you'll make new friends. This project really helped me and many other people with team building and overall team work. So, what's your name? Um, Stepan. It helped us to become more confident in things that we do and more confident socializing with other people and working with other people. You know, you can make a song about this. It's also gave me a lot of practical knowledge in such areas as editing and acting. The acting especially because it was the first performance in my life. I really enjoyed meeting so many different people and I feel like we all had a great time together. It can be done if everyone is dedicated and everyone was. Everyone was really quite passionate about it. Everybody is special and has different qualities and has different character, beliefs, mind, everything. Oh, is that part of the Melody's Music Festival? Um, I'm not sure. It might be... yes. We're going there too. It was a good laugh last year. It's really important to know how to work with different people because it would help you in your future. I'm definitely not the kind of person that would favour being in front of the camera. So pushing myself out of my comfort zone made me realise that I can actually do it. And this project has really helped my confidence. It's very enjoyable because it is something that I do have much interest in and I want to do something like this in the future. The interactions feel really, really real. They don't feel like a film, like acting at all. Ellie gave me a lot of new experiences, emotions. It was really useful for me to find a way to express myself. For this short period of time, I grew up with her. Only when you see yourself on screen and you hear what you're saying on the screen, you can actually reflect on your performance and reflect on you as a person. With her, I was developing as well. Yes. And I'm I think sure. that playing characters really, really affects you. The amount people have learned and taken and developed is absolutely incredible. And it's really quite amazing to see that come from something that I suppose my idea started. It spurred me on to let do similar projects to this in the future, like I've done a couple more. I could never have ex predicted how big this was going to be and how impactful this was going to be. You're giving away your emotions, your talent, everything you have to the character and you're just expressing it through the lens of someone else and that's what I think is the best thing about it. I took uh, possibly a new career path <laughs> from, from the projects. Dedication is the most important thing. By the end of this, it was less a case of learning and teaching and more that we've become a group of friends. It's Darlok. It's Darlok. 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 If you don't give something new a try, you won't understand how it feels. If you've ever had like, an idea, you know it makes sense, but you can't like, get the words for it. Films are really good for that. Media is really, really good for that because you can show rather than tell. What I want people to take most from this project is that they see the value in giving young people a voice. What if they were on the place of the main character or the other characters? How would they be acting and how would their perspectives change it? I don't mean something that's led and written by adults and organised by them and so on and so forth. I mean completely independently led by young people. Basically the message is to not be afraid of being different. The issues that young people face are often just discussed amongst the young people themselves. I hope it just makes you think a bit about judging something before you've got experience of what it is. And I think it's something everyone to some extent is guilty of. And actually understanding that getting on with people benefits everyone. This project, which has been completely led by young people, should be more commonplace around Scotland. And I think it's something that our community should really value. I definitely would enjoy to do something like this again. So I'd really recommend doing a project like this and would definitely consider doing something like this again. I would definitely like to try something like this in the future. I really, really enjoyed this team. I love this team so much and uh, I would like to continue working with them. Yeah.